Let the road trip commence. Fancy a tour of the Lofton Islands? The town of A has one of the oldest bakeries in the Lofton Islands and we've just gone to see the oven and it's pretty spectacular. It's awesome in there, you've got to go check it out. Apparently the oven is 300 years old. Wow, it looks awesome. They're still baking everything fresh every day. Are these breads and cinnabons? Yeah, breads and the classic cinnabon, I think it's very famous. So this is one of the iconic things to do in the Loft Islands, especially in A, is to come in here, see the oven and grab some baked goods. They have a focaccia here that's vegan, so we're going to have a little bit of that, a coffee, and then really start our road trip. We got to the bakery just behind me there, just as it was opening. Apparently they only bake a certain amount, so if you're not there first, then you might miss out. But we got there just as it opened and about 15, 20 minutes later, there's hordes of people there. It's a really small bakery. So it's worth getting up early and getting there the first so you don't miss out. I think Em's gone up into the souvenir shop. She's offered her after a Lofton Island badge or sticker for the top box. So we're about to get back on the bike and go and explore some more of this island. I think that was a successful operation, was it Em? It was. Another one to add to the collection. Oh, that's a nice one. And two stickers for the top box. Awesome. This one is cool because it's from the actual town and then this is just a general Lofton sticker. We might have to go to the other top box, the other side panniers soon yeah. once you're filling up but these. But how beautiful is that? That's really such nice, a good souvenir. There's so much tat in there. The guy in front has spent over 200 euros on bottles and like thumb, you know, like thumb, you know, when they put the thumb and they're the trying needle, to yeah. needle things in like shot glasses. 200 euros. This came to uh, less than six. <laughs> <laughs> See any um, main differences from the mainland um, straight away? I just think that the rocks are more jagged, more island-like, I, I guess. They're not rolling hills, are they? They're shooting straight up, but into a peak. The fjords were quite soft at the top, weren't they? They yeah, went straight no, out of the right, water, yeah. and then were soft. These seem like raw, jagged, very, they, uh, very natural. They almost look volcanic, don't they, I think? Yeah. And they've all I got totally like a... Um, They've all got greenery on them, whether it's like damp from the moss or it's grasses growing on them. But it is, yeah, it is quite a stark difference to the mainland. I do feel like we're in a different country, even though we're not. We are on an island, even if it's still Norway technically, it is a different climate. This is a cool road. There doesn't seem to be so many roads on the island. There's, the, there's this main one, which is the E10, is it, Sean? That's right, yeah, the E10 is the main one that goes straight the way through. There's, I thought there would be like lots of little roads everywhere, but it appears not. So I think if you really want to see everything, you're going to have to have some weeks for hiking. It seems like every little bit of dock or inland to the sea has got a fishing port on it must be really important to them for the winter to get a good stock of the fish. That's a good point. I can't imagine how cold it gets here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not exactly warm today. <laughs> it's supposedly no. summer. Do you have any idea what they are, Sean? Those wooden things? Um, I've seen I, them in a I few of the villages. I think they dry the fish on them. Or they hang the fish up. I don't know if they cover it and they smoke it. <laughs> well, yeah, I think when they come back from the big catch, they, they hang them all up and they, it's one of the ways of preserving them. I didn't know that. I learn something new every day. Well, they need fact checking though. <laughs> <laughs> it might be horribly, there might be a washing line or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I think we're about to do like the first little bridge over. It is a little one. I love the red houses perched with the grass roofs. Yeah, they it's look just... great, don't they? Every 
every corner a new like spike a new shard of mountain <laughs> comes into view they're awesome aren't they coming in on the ferry last night it looked like we were going to a, a different world through the especially it through did. the mist when when the mist broke it looked eerie it like, did, just did yeah. mysterious oh that was good timing that was wasn't it just red light green light go here we go another little bridge over look at that view from it wow sean have you seen that it's spectacular isn't it oh look can you see up ahead as well at 11 o'clock there's a bridge another cool bridge like oh, we had yeah. in the south it's just like a little hopping over each island here we go does he stall no he didn't <laughs> They've got anti-content railing. That one's a nice one, isn't it? Beautiful. They've got a sauna. That's a good idea, I guess, in these conditions. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some sauna in uh, Finland. Yeah. I think we're going to have to come back to Norway anyway. Yeah, there's too much to see in there. Uh, in a few weeks, isn't there? Mm. Well, maybe we should move here. <laughs> no, but then we'd miss Switzerland and the Furka and the Susten. That's true. Have you seen the terrain on the sat-nav, Em? It's no. Give you I an won't. idea. We go out a bit. <laughs> That's really cool. It really is just a collection of islands. That mountain over there to the left looks like a wave coming out. Like a flap. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. That's quite oh, a wow, steep. Oh, wow, look at that bridge. <laughs> that is insane. It's a real steep one. Is that steeper than the other one? The it looks it. I think we can pull in somewhere. And maybe at the bottom of the bridge, shall we? Yeah, definitely.
bridges that hop. I know, especially this one, it's so steep. It's like you get a, a panoramic view from the top. Up, up and away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, look at there, man. Wow. Be and even he's being chased by a seagull. They're flipping, they're a pain, those seagulls. And on to the second bridge. Straight away. Got the little fishing village just beyond there. It's quite a bumpy little bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that mountain is so steep. This one here, the, the pointy yeah. one. It always feels like a runway, it's so straight. It does with a takeoff. On to the next fishing village? <laughs> I think so. Wouldn't be far be long. I'm surprised that I haven't seen any like sea lions or anything. Yeah. Or is it getting getting too cold for them and they've they've moved? We've seen seagulls and ducks. We have, yeah. And we saw dolphins on the boat, which... That was a bonus, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, and back onto the E10 we go. It's not a good tunnel. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're pretty cold, these tunnels. Yeah. It's not much warmer out here, actually. Ooh, now I'm getting the shivs. Oh, well, that's nice, the sun. Oh, yeah. But the sun trying to break through. I think the forecast is cloudy for the next couple of days, but no rain and windy. So maybe that'll blow the clouds out. Hopefully. I can already feel that wind picking up. It's a big heron. How did you know that was a heron? Some Farthingwood friends, I think. Sometimes some of the things you say, I'm like, what? <laughs> so what are we doing, Sean? We are in Lofton Island, sat on a rock, <laughs> overlooking the beach, being randomly attacked by birds defending their nests, cooking lunch. <laughs> and it's starting to rain. And it's just started to rain, yeah. <laughs> Ideal. We started um, and stopped at a like okay. supermarket and picked up a few fresh produce because we wanted to do a nice little picnic outside today. But it's just started to spit and we couldn't find anywhere that had a um, picnic table. So we've ended up here on a rock. But the view... It is a lovely little location. It is simply beautiful. Sean's got the pasta going. I also got some mushrooms and some tomatoes and a few other bits just to have a few moments of relaxed time. The situation's got a little bit desperate. <laughs> it's cute though. It is cute, it is bringing us together. It is, literally. <laughs> under this tiny little travel umbrella, but it is doing the job. And we're having a lovely experience That's with our pasta. It. Looking good. No, it's, it's really tasty actually. It is, isn't it? And the view's absolutely amazing. It is. And there's nobody else here, because it's raining. Yeah, and it's only spitting. It's not like full on. No, rain. it's not full on. We had planned to get further north than we did today, but the weather had other ideas. So yeah. uh, as we couldn't really see much of the Lofted Islands uh, late this afternoon, we decided to call it a day, because we didn't really want to miss all of the beautiful sights. Yeah, we're lucky enough to have quite a few extra days spare, so we're going to spend the evening here. We are currently on the east side of the Lofton Islands, and we found a hotel where we're going to be spending the evening that has these incredible views behind us. So hopefully tomorrow we'll wake up with a bit better weather. Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to be a little bit overcast, but it's going to be dry, so we should be able to see everything tomorrow. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I do too, because this yeah. is such a special place. You can tell even in the rain and even in the bad visibility, it is stunning here. So we want to really enjoy ourselves. Yeah. So tomorrow we will be continuing our road trip further north into the Lofton Islands. 
But now we're off to dinner. Dinner has arrived. We've got two veggie burgers. Sean grabbed a beer, a local one, a dark brew, and I grabbed a hot chocolate because I was feeling the vibe in here. It's very, very fugue, very relaxing. And we're going to spend the rest of the evening here. We've actually got views of the lake and the lofty mountains from this restaurant window. So it's time to dig into dinner. So cheers, guys. Cheers, Sean. It's the end of the first day in the Lofton Islands and this morning it started off really sunny. We had great views of all the mountains and the vistas and we had dry riding conditions. But then as soon as the afternoon came, the rain came pouring down and we couldn't see much because it was mist and the road conditions weren't very nice. So we decided to call it a day so that we could see the Lofton Islands a little bit better tomorrow. We've got the gear drying out in the hotel room there. So hopefully that'll all be dry for the morning. And speaking of the morning, the plan for tomorrow is we are currently around this area here. We're going to ride to the very most northerly point of the Lofton Islands and we're going to go to Andenius, which is where I think you can do a lot of whale watching in the summer. Anyway, we're going to take a five o'clock ferry, which is going to take us all over to the Grill Ford. And then from there, we're still going to have two to three hours of riding. We're going to take this road all the way down here and then back up here and then all the way back up to Tromso where we'll be staying the next couple of nights. But that's good night from us. It's good night from the beautiful fjord just outside there and we'll catch you tomorrow as we ride to the most northerly point of the Lofton Islands.